We are going coast to coast here today and do I have a great recommendation for you. So if you're looking for a great American IPA and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, dear lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beers and give you my most honest opinion, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. If you like the video, you know I like those thumbs up. Now today I'm bringing you a an American IPA from our friends at Goose Island, which we know they make some good stuff. And today I'm bringing you their next, wait, next coast IPA right there, right? Now, full disclosure, I got this from a variety pack I got from them. I don't think you can find this solo, so take that as it is. Now, what did you guess? Did you guess what glass I was going to use? I hope you did, because you know, having the right glass for the beer that you are pouring is a very important piece of becoming and being recognized as a beer connoisseur. So, to make sure you always have the right glass for the beer that you're tasting, check out the description below and see how you can get your own set, your, own, your hands, on a set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses. Now, this is interesting. Where do we always start? The appearance. Remember the three C's? Color, clarity, and carbonation. This is a straw yellow color, completely, and I mean completely clear, as clear as translucent it can be. And it's kind of dead, to be honest with you. Very, very few bubbles. Not what I was expecting from, a, from an IPA, to be honest with you. Very white head of foam, which is dissipating, but not that quickly. It's still kind of like retaining that there. You know, it went all the way through the, through the rim. It's lost a little bit over, you know, a little bit under a finger but it's, it's pretty white. It's a nice fluffy white head of foam there. That's all part of the appearance. And now I'm going to enjoy the aromas here. Okay, it does smell juicy. And I think I saw something like that around here. It says tropical juicy hops. And it's a 7.0 alcohol by volume beer, so this is interesting. I've never had this one, but it definitely has some tropical juicy hops. So, actually, some pineapple, I would say. And some other tropical, like more like um, sweet fruit juices, maybe even some grapes. And I'm thinking, I don't know either pear or plums. And now it got kind of a danky there. So as the foam is almost completely dissipated, that aroma got pretty, pretty danky. So maybe there is some IPA um, spirit in this one after all. Because after I saw that color, I had my doubts. So I'm going to taste it and let you know how that part of the experience goes. Okay. 
you know what? It's, it's like a light IPA. So it's lighter than I expected, but not after I saw the, the, the appearance. Lighter than I expected before I opened the can. So it's definitely, um, the, the tip of the tongue, not a lot of flavor there. It's kind of uh, bland in, in, in that respect. But then as soon as it started coming through the palate, it just tasted like a normal, regular IPA hoppy. You know, not the hoppiest IPA you had, but you know, a decent amount of hops there coming, coming going through the tongue. But then the body, it, it, it's kind of like a different experience. You know, you, you, you're, you're tasting the hoppy part of the IPA, so you're expecting a different action in your mouth of hoppiness and maybe even more carbonation, and it wasn't there. So I don't want to say it's disappointing. It's just kind of like it, it tastes like an IPA, but it doesn't feel like an IPA. It's, it's weird to, to describe that, but it's kind of like lighter in the sense of um, the body it has. And, uh, and the flavor, it's, it doesn't linger, it doesn't last too long. So it's kind of like a short flavor there. It ends with, the, with the, you know, still some of that bitterness, uh, maybe a little bit, you know, kind of like citrusy bitterness, but not, not that much. It just feels like, a, like an IPA throughout, but again, kind of like a lighter body IPA, if I can say that. I can still make some recommendations about some food pairings, which is the part that you come to me for and the part that makes you a connoisseur. So let's go through some of that. I think you can still get away with some sushi rolls. And if you want to go for a spicy tuna roll, which I like, yeah, I would go with this beer because, you know, it still has some of that hoppy piece that will probably help you enjoy and clean a little bit of that, of the palate to enjoy the, the roll bite after bite. But it's light enough. So you can, you can drink it, um, you know, a few times. Now, the second thing is, yeah, this one I think will definitely be a great pairing. How about some fish tacos with mango salsa? Now, there was not a lot of fruit juices in the flavors, but I think because of the aromas, you can still have some nice, enjoy that whole experience there with some fish tacos, kind of like street tacos with some mango salsa. Yep. That will go great with this beer. And I like to make some, uh, I, I like roasted chicken, you know, roasted chicken thighs. But if you make them kind of like citrus marinated roasted chicken thighs, and you know, whether you roast them in, the, in your kitchen range or in your, in your grill outside, I think you will still get a good pairing because again, chicken, we're not going for a, for a very bold meat here. So I think this beer, Definitely tread lightly. I don't think you can throw a steak at it or, or, or anything, you know, very, very bold. But I think those three bearings I just gave you should go nicely with it. And again, nice beer to enjoy outside when it's hot, almost summer. So those three uh, bearings there should go nice with your outdoor lifestyle. And as far as a cheese, I think a mild cheddar, don't go too crazy with the, you know, any pungent cheeses or anything like that, because the beer, again, doesn't have a lot, but I think you can still get away with some mild cheddar with this beer. Now, you know, I can, you can always trust me to leave you a great recommendation as far as the dessert pairing, and I think I can still do that with this beer. So, go ahead, open the description below, and check out my gift to you. Unlock the secret. That concludes today's lesson, but not before I ask you, have you had the chance to taste next Next Coast IPA from Goose Island. What do you think of it? Leave me some comments below. I love to hear what you're thinking. Now, I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on this journey of becoming beer connoisseurs, and I encourage you to be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next beer review video. And until then, enjoy! Enjoy!